Hey, Cassidy, I wish you guys could smell this delicious food. It smells so good. We are inside the Hotel Dossier with Chef Vitaly Paley. This is his newest restaurant, Rosa Rosa. You guys just opened five days ago? Five days ago. How's it going? Fantastic. And uh, this is kind of a special creation for both of you. This is Chef Kenny. You guys have some uh, stuff from your heritage kind of that plays in the menu. Tell me a little bit about that. Rosa was my name, uh, my grandmother's name, and the other name, Rosa, is after City of Roses. So we're exploring the connection to our past, to our heritage, both Russian, Georgian, Italian, as that's when Kenny, that's where Kenny comes in. So. And you guys met in New York, so there's some New York inspired? No, actually, we, we both worked in New York uh, at, at the same restaurant, but in different years. So we crossed paths unknowingly yeah. in New York. And then when, when I got out to Portland, I met up with Vitali, and, and we've been friends for many years. And so. now have these wonderful creations because of this relationship and kind of exploring kind of some of your roots. We're having a fantastic time putting this together. This is a little bit of Roman Empire, a little bit of New York, a little bit of Ottoman Empire in broad terms, if you will, but it's really coming together quite nicely. We've got some wonderful chicken chickmaruli from Georgia. We've got beautiful buffalo mozzarella and oven dried tomatoes, lamb meatballs with lots of fresh herbs, metze Turkish style with green cheek bee hummus, some walnut stuffed eggplant. Those are Turkish string beans braised slowly with yeah. And this is Kenny's. Kenny, tell us about that. Dish. Yeah, what's uh, dish? rigatoni with uh, Sunday gravy? So growing up in New York, every Sunday we'd make we'd braise meat in tomato sauce all day long, and that meat would become very tender and flavorful. And the next day, what we had left over, we'd dice that up and make it into a pasta. So that my my grandmother, my mother cooked every Sunday the Sunday meat sauce. So this isn't. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So this, so named after your grandma, this is a dish your grandma used to make? That's yeah. correct, yeah. Oh my gosh. yeah. And tell me a little bit about the restaurant. We have two different rooms with kind of a different feel in each. Uh, the front room is basically uh, come as you are, eat as you like, fun, energetic, uh, all day long, the same menu. This room is the back room at Rosa Rosa. Is, I'd like to say perhaps slightly more scripted, uh, coursed out meals, if you will. But again, still very fun, very lighthearted. We're just having fun with this, really. Just a little more intimate setting exactly. in the back. Yes. And uh, and then this room we're standing in is kind of a private dining room area? We, call, we haven't figured out the name for it yet, but the working name is Rosa Room. Rosa Room, awesome. And uh, what are your hours and when can people come down and check you out? We open for breakfast at what, 7, 7, 7 a.m. We open for lunch and an all-day menu starts at 11. Brunch is Saturdays and Sundays, 8 to 3. And then the, the back room at Rosa Rosa opens at 5 p.m. every day for dinner only. Nice. And all of these smell amazing. What's your, what's your favorite? What do you recommend for people? I, I mean, you can't go wrong. I right? don't know. Yeah, I, I would say the idea here is to order everything and bring a lot of people with you and share. So you can try a little bit of everything. Family style. Uh, family yeah, style. Yeah. This is all meant yeah. to be uh, shared and, and celebration at the table of, of family, friends, and food. Yum. Awesome. All right. We're inside Hotel Dossier. This is Rosa Rosa. You guys, I really wish you could smell this because it smells so amazing. It's a little bit of like a home cooked personal feel. Uh, come check it out. That looks beautiful. Such a cool location. Thank you, Lindsay. Congrats, Vitaly. That's amazing.